In Scotland, it's time for us to spend a few moments with the neighbours. Neighbours, everybody needs good neighbours With a little understanding You can find the perfect blend Another. That's when good neighbors become good friends. What are you two doing here? Doing you a favor, mate. Well, there's nothing wrong at home, is there? No. Wish I could say the same about the office. What's happened? Rosemary rang. She wants you to take those over to the solicitor and sign them there, and he'll countersign them. This wasn't supposed to be done until the end of the week. It's got to be on its way to the States by tonight. Well, have you checked the airline? Of course. The plane leaves at eight. It doesn't give me much time. Yeah, the solicitor will wait for you. Might be an idea to let Zoe know where you're going to be in future. Just lucky I knew. Yeah, well, thanks, Dan. Do you want to ride back with Paul? Ah, oh, it's going to be hours before I get home. I'll get a lift with you if you don't mind. Do what you mind. With the company will be more pleasant. Gratitude doesn't seem to be his long suit these days. <laughs> you could have said thank you. Sometimes wonder if he ever said it. Well, I used to. No, I was supposed to be following back into town. Yeah. Bonnet, and I'll try and find out whether this thing's not cooperating. Probably better if I did that, Zoe. Turn her over again. Now, yeah, I reckon your coils hit the skids. Well, the car's not old enough for the coil to have gone. Well, we have to agree to disagree. Oh, yeah. What makes you such an expert? Well, my uncle used to restore Morgans. I was always under his feet. Oh, a bit of a tomboy, were you? Oh, I've had my moments. Well, I can't fix it. Yeah, toss it. The coil. Well, either way, we've got to find a mechanic or a telephone to ring one. Oh, great, Sir Galahad, you turned out to be. I'll keep trying. But we'd better get moving because we've got a long walk ahead of us. Even Sir Galahad provided his damsel with a white horse. Sheesh. <laughs> yes. Here you go, Basil. But you better be quiet. Lucy. It's Sorry. too close to dinner for these, anyway. Basil made me give her some. Oh, get on with your homework. I wish I had the same knack with Nicky. But then you always understood people pretty well. <laughs> well, what I don't understand is you turning Max down. Oh, Nicky and I have got a lot of ground to make up. I think I made a mistake sending her to that boarding school. You did the right thing. Stop blaming yourself. Still doing your homework, Lucy? Uh-huh. Hello, love. And how was school today? It was great. I'm going to become a mother. You what? I have to look after this egg for one whole week. This helpless thing has to go with me everywhere. Everywhere? Yes, and if I can't take it everywhere, I have to find someone to exit. Count me in. I'll only charge five dollars an hour. <laughs> Thanks anyway, Lucy, but I don't think I'll need you. What exactly is the point of the exercise? It's a school assignment, and it's called the egg experiment. It's meant to teach you about parenting. Oh, responsibility? Yeah, I guess so. You'll find parenting's a lot easier said than done. I know that. Oh, uh, have you seen Scott anywhere, Nicky? He hasn't phoned to say that he'd be late. Yeah, he and Mike have gone over to Clive's. I don't know what for, though. Why don't we ask them to be part of the egg experiment, too? Maybe we could ask Bradley as well. Well, perhaps this time, but come straight home. OK, come on, Basil. Yeah, I'll get changed first. Maybe I should have gone out. I don't seem to be achieving much here. It'll all work out. Try not to worry. You know what I need? A great night out. Now, hang on a minute. What about your maths test? You're lucky enough to be given a second chance. You don't want to blow it. You've got a point. Fair enough. 
I'll make up the time then. But you know yourself, I'm getting the hang of it. Yeah. And didn't you say an alert mind is a healthy mind? Yeah. So, tonight I party and tomorrow I hit the books. And you come with me, what do you say? Thanks for the invite, but I plan a night of my own dinner tranquility. Well, I'm not going anywhere till I've eaten. Especially after what Daphne said. You would think Mike was five years old the way she looks up. Yeah, well that's my business, okay? Sorry mate, I was only joking. Look, it's no good the way your parents treat you, but you'll cope, Mike. We all do. Yeah, right. I still reckon you should go out on your own tonight, Scott. Come on, mate. Don't be like that. Look, I, I've got to set up the drums. You don't want to stay here. I've got earmuffs. I've used them before. I tell you what, maybe the old drums can wait a night. Why don't the three of us hit the town? Yeah, Mike. How about? <sighs> Why not? Great. Yeah, easy. Well, here we both are, out in the wilderness, no food, no water. Uh, so much for your wilderness. Oh, stand aside, let me handle this. How do I look? You really want me to tell you? Can't blame a girl for trying. <laughs> what were you so poker face about before? Oh, I was just thinking. How are you and Paul getting along? Oh, fun of yours can be a real show than us at times. Huh? Yeah. Well, don't let him get away with too much. He seems to hold you accountable for a lot, too. Well, I'm beyond the age of being accountable for my actions, <laughs> even to Paul. I think he feels he has to compete, be more successful, more dominant. You know a lot about these things, don't oh, you? Oh, I am wise beyond the years. I'm so wise I can't even walk straight. <laughs> well, all good things come in time. Yeah. To me. Big deal. You're missing the point. Ah, yes. The humble googie. I know it well. It's a very serious school assignment. It's meant to teach the trials and tribulations of being a parent. Well, I reckon this kid's got a future in ballet. Look at that, that form, that, that style. Scott! Or maybe even basketball. What do you reckon, Mike? Um, I don't reckon it'd be funny if we dropped it. Yeah, that'd be right. I'd expect you to agree with that. Man, 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 you're missing the point. This egg isn't just an egg. This significant piece of shell, protein and albumin has posed the most vexing questions known to man, Nikki. Yes, absolutely. Witness the paradoxical. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Or oh, the comedian standby. Why did the chicken cross the road? Indeed, gentlemen, indeed. I think that may be getting a little too deep for this particular assignment. Yeah, um, any deeper and you'd need nine lung. Um, are you ready to hit the town, old boy? Oh, well, Nikki come too if she wants. Sorry, I don't go out school nights. Well, um, I'm gonna make a move. You three have fun with your eggs. I'll see you later. Bye. 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 I think the Egyptians embraced the concept the best. The egg. The single unit, the building block of society, the ultimate symbol again, of fertility. I could ring Mum, and uh, that's if you're still keen. We could go out. Sure. How about dinner? Uh, well, don't look at me. I've already eaten. But look at yourself, Mike. Take a bit of care of your appearance. Okay? Oh, right. Yeah. A taco with enchilada sounds like a guy. You're into Mexican, aren't you? You bet. How about it, Mike? No worries. <laughs> okay, I'll just ring Mum and let her know. Thanks. Yeah. It's... I thought maybe we might have a nice chat. Well, maybe tomorrow, then. All right, love. Have a good time. Bye. Well, it's not exactly the reunion I had in mind. Nikki seems so distant. Now she's going out tonight. Do you want a hand? No, thanks. Have you thought of sending her to a school closer to Charleville? At least you'll be able to see her more often. I don't want to uproot her. She's in the top ten in a class. And apart from that, I think she needs the discipline. Well, if you do decide to give her a change, you know she's always welcome here. I'm sure Jim can think of something. Helen, I'm not going to let that kid get the better of me. She's got to learn. I wish you the best. She's got a stubborn streak. Yes, I'm aware of that. But there are some things you just can't change about people. So what's your plan of action? I think I'll phone up Max. See if tonight's still on. Ha, good for you.
Yeah, well, as soon as you can, I'd appreciate it. Yeah. And, and thanks for the use of the phone. Take the car in, but we've got a few hours to kill. Mm. Did you get through the hell of it? I tried a couple of times, but they were engaged. Listen, why don't we find someone to eat, and I can try again from there. Okay, fine. It's on one condition. Yeah. Get rid of this from me. <laughs> At least have something to eat before you go out. Scott, I know what you tried to do. For heaven's sake, Lucy, it can't be all that poor. But it is. What are you looking for, Lucy? Cozy. I don't want my egg to get cold. Oh, don't tell me Nikki's got to you too. Both of you out of here while I do the cooking. I think it's a great idea. It's much better than playing with dumb old dogs. Lucy, I won't ask you again. Take that dog outside. Oh, okay. Thank you. Come on, Basil. Come on. Oh, peace and quiet. Well, what do you reckon? All ready for the ball. Well, you don't look half bad. Who's the lucky fellow, then? He's my mystery man. Every woman should have one, shouldn't they, Helen? Definitely. But at the moment, my mystery man is Jim. I don't know where he could be. Oh, he'll turn up. So who is he, then? Never you mind. That's for me to know and for you to find out. See you, Helen. Have a great time. All right. Bye. Is she trying to keep this bloke a secret from Nicky or something? You shouldn't ask so many questions about other people's affairs. I was just curious, that's all. Then don't be. <laughs> oh, Lucy, stop trying to carry on. What's happening in this house? Darling, what's wrong? Oh, Lucy. Go get Clyde, quickly. Go! Could be a spider bite, but I doubt it. You have to do something she isn't breathing. As quick as you can. Right. The ambulance will be here as soon as they can. It shouldn't take too long. Yeah, I don't know if we can wait for them. We'll have to do a tracheotomy. Scott, help me get Lucy up on the table, will you? Right. <laughs> Helen, <laughs> I want you to find some methylated spirits and some cotton wool. Scott, get me a yep. biro and the sharpest knife you've got. Right. What do you think's happened? Mm, here it is. Bee sting. Right, Lucy, give me the pencil. Okay, give me the knife. I have to make a cut into her throat so she can breathe. The bee stings cause the air passage to contract. Thanks. Well, not like you at all. You're more strong and silent. I'm more strong and verbal. How very diplomatic of you. <laughs> I guess he takes after his mother. Oh, sort of. And he had a, a softness, a, a compassion that Paul doesn't show. Must have been awful when she died. Yeah. Yeah, she was really something like that. And you never thought of remarrying? Once, nearly. Oh, really? What was she like? Oh, she was great fun in her own way. Trouble was, other people didn't see the same qualities <laughs> in her that I did. Oh, your friends didn't approve. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> If I was in love with somebody, I wouldn't let anybody stop me from doing what I wanted to. Well, eventually she made everybody happy by marrying another bloke. <laughs> well, as they say, don't look back. Well, I think I better go and see if I can get hold of Helen again. Sure. Hello? Yeah, hello. Damn, I hate that. Ah, uh, whoever it is, I'm sure they'll call back. Yeah, maybe. Hang on a tick, I'll get them. Here they are. Oh, great. I'll have them certified in court tomorrow. Oh, I reckon I'm on my way now, Bill. Yep, I've got one great future ahead of me with that. Have you got time for a drink? No, thanks. But you should uh, toast your father and Zoe for managing to find you. That's what she's paid for. Look, I was the one that set the deal up. Success comes to those who work hard and know the ropes. You know that as well as I do. Yeah, well, uh, I'd better get a move on. I've still got a case to prepare. Can I call a cab? <laughs> no way. The least I can do is give you a lift after, will you, then? Besides, not exactly a hive of activity around here. I don't know where everyone is.
wish they'd come and tell us what's going on. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. You're a grumpy chair. No, I'm all right. Just find it a bit hard to cope, that's all. Just as well Clive was there, we had to think what would have happened. Mm. Are you okay, mate? Sorry? Oh, yeah, just thinking about Lucy. Listen, I don't know much about it, but... Well, Gran and I, we're sure glad you were there. Are you Lucy's mother? No, I'm her grandmother. Is her father here? We don't know where he is at the moment. Please, how is she? She is very lucky. The tracheotomy almost certainly saved her life. We have to keep here for observation, of course, but she's out of danger. Now, could you tell me uh, who performed the surgery? I'd be delighted to it. That's odd. Never mind. I'll let you know if there are any developments. Thank you. I would like to stay. Look, go home. Lucy's in good hands. Thank you. You better grab one of these, otherwise there'll only be wrappers left. No, no, I've had enough to eat already. What's wrong? Well, I couldn't get hold of anyone at home. I know it's not late, but I didn't know Helen had any plans to go out tonight. Oh, don't worry, we'll be home soon. Well, I rang the garage. You were right, it was the coil. Oh, we should have had a bet. But the car won't be ready till tomorrow. So, what are we going to do? Rest the horses and find the nearest bunkhouse? Well, I think I'll put you on a bus, and then I'll find the nearest bunkhouse. Oh, but the bus will take ages, and they're so boring. Well, I'm afraid I can't do anything about that. Well, why can't I stay here with you? I mean, there's no reason for me to be back by tonight. Well, it's fine by me, if you're sure. I'm positive. All right. Let's find a motel, and, and then once we're settled in, I'll try Helen again. She should be home by now. Oh, yeah. What's in your bag? Oh. Oh, I'll grab these as well. Oh, yeah. That's a trip. <laughs> On the way, we can see what this little old town's got to offer, huh? Maybe I should give him a call at home. It was a bit odd. He was marvellous with Lucy. Yeah, I know. He seemed a bit worried about that tracheotomy or something. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe he's too scared to face the doctor, I suppose. He saved her life. I know that much. Yeah. Still no sign of Doug? I wish he'd come home. He'll be desperate about her. Hey, good day. What's been going on here? Lucy was stung by a bee. She couldn't breathe. She nearly died. Where is she? Is she all right? She's in recovery. Luckily, Clive Gibbons helped us. I'm sure he saved her life. Clive had to operate right here. Mm, it's something I wouldn't want to live through again. <clears throat> what is Dad still at the hospital? I haven't seen or heard of your father all day. He just hasn't been home. He should be. I left him over three hours ago. They should be back by now. They? Who was he with? Well, Zoe. I left he and Zoe together. Neighbour. Everybody needs good neighbours. Just a friendly wave each morning. Helps to make a better day. Next door is only a footstep away. Neighbors, everybody needs good neighbors with a little understanding. You can find the perfect. That's when good 